Hey guys, today I thought I would do an interesting deal at a cemetery. So we're here in Wayuka Cemetery in Lincoln, Nebraska, visiting the famous serial killer slash spree killer, Charles Starkweather. So basically he grew up here and Later, in about 1957, 57-ish, he uh, met, uh, I don't know exactly where they met, but he met up with a girl by the name of Carol Ann Fugate, who and then became his long-time, well, I shouldn't say long-time, but became his girlfriend. He was 18 and she was 13 at the time, and then about a year later is when he started doing his killing sprees, so... He basically, the first one he ended up killing was a gas station attendant. He was basically going down to get cigarettes and shot the guy. The next killing ended up happening um, in Bennett, Nebraska, where they, he killed Carol's mother, stepfather, and a either a two-month or a two-year-old baby child. And... So then after that, there was some other, they ended up finding a, I don't know if it was like a friend of the family or him, killed another guy at his farm in the same area in Bennett. And then ended up catching a ride with some teenage couples around the same area, took them into a storm cellar type of, type of area, I'm guessing, and killed the guy and then tried to rape the woman in a sense and then later was saying that carol his girlfriend had killed her with a gun so i don't know exactly the t details on it so carol fugate was 14 years old when these all these murders took place so we do have some backstory about carol so she was also arrested when he was arrested but she was on, got put on parole after like 17 years in prison. So this, she got out of prison in 1977 and then she went, 76, sorry. And then she went to live in Michigan. So it's... I do want to apologize about all the wind going on in the background, but I did want to show you this. So... He is buried here in Wayuka Cemetery. Um, it happened on June 25th, 1959. He got electrocuted. That was, he was in the state penitentiary for at least, I think, a year. But he got died by electrocution on June 25th, 1959. And then here is the grave of him. Charles R. Starkweather, November 25th, 1938. And he died in the... 1959 rest in peace now i think we're going to take a drive out to the bennett area in nebraska and we're going to go see if we can find any farm remnants or anything of where carol fugate's family lived and then see what we can find and we'll not sure what's going to be out there i'm pretty sure it got torn down but and it might be private property i'm not really sure so well some unfortunate news we are unable to locate the farmhouse where her family or this august meyer lived at so we're actually in a bennett right now so we drove around and looked for it and there is nothing even there like it's from what we found online it's been torn down for a while and they don't want people knowing the location of it to basically disturb the neighbors so I understand so unfortunately I can't give you any more information I do have this book down here that I've had for a few years that that we found so much info like about Starkweather and how the killings and all that occurred but definitely interesting check it out I I can put a link if I can find a description of it and put it in the description of this video so that's going to be it for today, so I hope you guys like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.